The history of the United States and the entire history of capitalism has its origins in the attack on Africa and the unprecedented theft of tens of millions of Africans. This study uncovers the concrete evidence of the amount of wealth stolen from African people by the ruling class of the United States over the last four centuries, amounting to a minimum of $4.1 trillion in stolen labor alone. When the merchants of the various small European principalities began taking Africans as slaves in the late 1400s from the west coast of Africa, states such as Songhai and Ethiopia far surpassed the organizational, cultural, and economic development of Europe. But the continued depopulation and dislocation of ever further expenses of Africa caused devastation of those societies and interrupted the history and economic development of Africa. The procuring of slaves which represented ready-made capital, human capital for the production of Europe's first commodities on the agricultural labor camps of the New World allowed European and North American wealth to accumulate on unheard of scales and laid the basis for the establishment of modern industry, transportation, and world economy. The slave trade and the slave colonies gave birth to the capitalist class, those who controlled the labor of the masses of people through privately owning and controlling the factories, tools, and distribution systems of a complex economy and in which whose interests state power functions. In addition, it gave birth to the modern proletariat of the colonizing nations, those who are compelled to work in the factories of the capitalists in order to make a living. The existence of both classes in the imperialist center is contingent on the enslavement of African people and the subsequent colonization of the rest of the world.